Dude, we agreed to this. I don't know. Yep, you gotta do it. The straws, gentlemen. Heath, that is, that is the short one. I thought we were kidding. He's gonna vote! Get him, get him I thought we were kidding! Yeah, Mario, we oh, got it. Ow! No, that's it, I quit. I just, I resigned. I just resigned, I quit. You didn't hear anything, did you? Mm -mm. I got an idea. I think this has been a misunderstanding. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Wait, what are, mm -hmm. There you go. I hereby allow Warrior Post Side to use me as a human bullet catcher. Sign X on yes. Move it, move it. Yeah, we got a yes! Safety first, bud. What? Serious <laughs> hell! No! <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. If he dies, who's gonna be the network producer? We could shoot Bob. It's a better option. Son of a gun, never have any fun anymore. Guys, today's video is sponsored by Aura. Aura is who I trust to guard my identity online. They provide a VPN, antivirus, password management, identity theft protection. I wish I had cheated and written it on my hand. Fraud monitoring. Aura also opted me out of 19 different data broker things which were selling my information, which I thought sucked. Also, they found my information on the dark web and that is no bueno with me either. Sign up at aura.com slash WPS. You get a two week free trial and you can start getting online protection like this guy today. Now. Let's do fun video things. Here we go. What's happening, my friends? I am John Level Warrior Poet Society, and today we're seeing how much of an armor plate that you would wear in like a plate carrier, how much of this action will stop a bullet. What happens if you get shot on the one inch mark over here? Is that gonna stop it? Or is it gonna kinda fold around and hurt precious Bob here? We are going to find out today. Now, caveat emptor, when NIJ is testing plates, they say an inch or in is subject to the testing and certification and stuff. So if it's over on here, that's not something that's playing in. Now our contenders, which will be taking Bob on today, is a Gucci US Arms rifle. This is the Gucciest gun I, I own. This is really cool. And so we're having fun with this today. I just zeroed it in. It was my first time shooting it. We're also rocking and rolling with my favorite plates. They're the Duridiums. The PAs weigh like 2.7 pounds. These are heavier, about a pound more. Uh, but they're the GT2s, special threat plates. And so these guys right here, what I love is though they're a poly plate, they'll last for 15 years. And you're usually not seeing that. You'll see five years out of them. So 15 years and they'll stop M855. That's the green tip and M855A1. And of course, things like 762 and shotgun and it'll stop all kinds of stuff. So as we get ready, courage, Bob, I will not shoot you. I'm a good shot. I'm hitching the plate. I need you to be brave, son. All right, guys, eyes and ears. I'm at 15 meters shooting 55 grain 5.56, five, and I'm gonna hit the two inch mark first. All right, let's see how we did. I love when it's smoking after. Look at that, punched in there. There's the uh, actual cross, so I guessed a little bit wrong, but it looks like uh, windage is okay. We have some cavitation over here, but nothing got through right here. Look in there, nothing got through in Bob. So we got some cavitation, but nothing got through. All right, now we're gonna do the one inch. All right. So there was the hole here. I am about a quarter of an inch to the right was entry. This is a tear, that was the hit part. And uh, we definitely have cavitation. This is where it's just breaking like the paint and stuff. But you see on Bob here, there is no pass through. He's gonna have a bruise, but he has no cut. I'm gonna come over here and hit this third tick mark down right there. And I'm gonna give it another go right at the inch. Bob's hurt. Bob's hurt real bad. This was inside this at uh, this poke through here. And then you can see where it came out here. And then it made a superficial kind of thing here. There's the fragment. 
it like diverted it pushed here and then if you'll come over here see when it cavitated here it kind of pushed this in and worked its way out at an angle back this way so it, it kept it from going straight in and through where it should have come through here but instead it grabbed it and as the material all bunched up to cavitate it pushed out at an angle this way causing some uh, damage here so this is not something that's going to kill you but this is something that you're going to be like i got shot you get a purple heart for this junk that's the ideal thing you get the purple heart but you don't die just for grins let's push it into here at the half inch mark right on the edge this is my entry right here all right so this looks like it entered here and it exited here so here we did unlike the last one which kind of kicked it out away from the body and graced it at an angle out it bunched the protective elements when it cavitated and then passed along the side and we actually did get shot through and through right there all right so let's break down our results guys very first and here you go bob earmuffs i don't want them to hear this very first shot we took it two inches it uh caught the round it, it had some cavitation however there was no pass through then we did one at one inch and then we did another at one inch slightly inside the one inch mark to see how that did we had some pass through on the right side we did not have pass through on the left side the pass through here kind of redirected it away from the body as the material bunched and gathered and kind of pushed it out at an angle so we had some superficial damage when i got closer to the quarter inch to half an inch right here we did have an actual pass through and it went in and out of the body based on these results I'd like to return to the general compositions of body armor. You can have steel, you can have ceramic, you can have poly, or you can do some kind of hybrid that takes two of these elements and put them together. No matter which one of these compositions you choose though, you don't get to have your cake and eat it too, as everything kind of, it's sliding scales of here's some advantages, here's some disadvantages. All things being said, I greatly prefer poly plates like this over something like steel and ceramic. Whereas steel, will provide max protection of like nothing's getting through there and then on steel it would provide better protection course uh, closer to the edges ceramic plates might do a little bit better on the edges as well but as soon as you have that initial shattering of the ceramic structure that plate denigrates pretty darn quick now poly is my favorite plates because you can get something extremely strong but it is more lightweight than the other alternatives and man as somebody who's had to huff around deserts and do lots of cqb and body armor it is far far better to be as light as humanly possible but a tick against poly plates is when you get closer to the edges because of the nature of how poly plates stop a bullet is it kind of bunches up and gathers that material and it allows some type of cavitation where a steel's just kind of like you shall not pass yeah wizard gandalf nothing will pass but you're gonna have to carry double the load and that really sucks you're probably gonna be a heat cat the enemy doesn't even have to shoot you your body arm will defeat you so when I think of a hit over on these sides, especially toward the edge where Polly would push it out at an angle and I'd probably be okay. And if it did get passed through, it's gonna kind of clip me in a non-life-threatening way, hopefully. What if it clipped up here at the top? Now it's going to cavitate, it'll push out, and now I'm gonna catch that up here. But what if it was just an inch higher and it throat, shot me in the throat too? It's kind of like the what if game. And some folks that are uh, have too much of a defensive mindset, it's kind of like, well, I'm gonna, I should put armor here and then here and then here and then here. And you're like a knight's armor walking through. And yeah, you better be a roll it just a tank of armor because you're so slow and pathetically easy to shoot. Uh, there's always the trade off. And so this is, I'm gonna protect just the most important. And I accept that, man, if somebody clips me right on the edge, that's probably going to get some pass through and that sucks so don't be a target do good tactics now i reminded this to you in the very beginning of the video nij testing it's inside the plate of two inches of like in under no circumstances a one inch hit going to be uh used for nij testing for any of the composition of plates so none of the manufacturers are lining up to be like yeah i'll warranty if you're shot way over here at three quarters of an inch so we were already started this at the very limitation of what a plate should do but let's know our equipment, what they can and can't do, and how bullets react with it. In the words of the great and illustrious wise G.I. Joe, 
knowing is half the battle. And so now we know stuff. Give me my earmuffs. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in for this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and toggle notifications bell to all. If you're not getting our notifications, go in your web browser and put our video watch home screen on our website, warriorpoetsociety.com. Make that video thing a homepage for you so that you can find right there and our stuff won't be buried in the algorithm that hates us. Share, like, comment down below. We really appreciate you guys. Train hard, train smart, stay free.